Now, I think it's time to work on the safety switch. So, um, these K40 lasers are apparently quite unsafe um, by design. And you have to help finish them off and make them a little more safe. So if the laser's going and you lift this top up, it'll still keep going. And especially if you have little kids or somebody who might be coming through, or you just forget yourself, open it up, get a straight laser beam in the eye, it's no good. So, uh, I ordered some of these micro switches, which are really nice, clicky click. What I'm going to do is wire them into the laser switch, which is that left button there. So that would be the laser on, no laser on, laser off. Um, so the switch will be in the circuit. It will complete the circuit. When the lid is closed, it will break the circuit when the lid is open. So the way that you need to do it is uh, desolder one of the leads to the laser switch, which is that guy, so if we lift this back up, I've already done that, so I desoldered that. Then you got to go down through this uh, little cable here and uh, start fishing the wire out. Here it is. I'm not done yet, but I'm going to get it out to about here where these other wires are out, and then I'm going to snake it around here through the back, right there, and then mount my switch here. Now you can drill into the case if you want, uh, but I've seen other people, and I don't know if it would fit, so I just took measurements myself, and I made a little holder, so that guy will sit on there, and then my switch, he'll rest on there, and I'll just hot glue it to there, and maybe hot glue this to the case, and then when the lid closes, that'll hit the switch, and we'll be in business. I may also need to make a little block up here so that the the switch will get contacted when the the lid closes but other than that i think uh i think this is good and i'll, uh, I'll keep going and see how it works now i've got the switch wired up to my micro switch that will control the door so I'll go down i fished it back down through there it's kind of like sewing which is interesting um and then let's go back down there and there's our switch mounted up it's pretty firmly snugly attached Super glue did the trick. Nice clicking. And I did have to make a little part that will be that will strike the, the switch because the the lid is too thin to touch right where it needs to. But if you come down, and I don't know if you can hear that, I'll get a little closer. So that'll work. So now my safety switch is installed. So the laser will not be able to fire if the lid's open. And I'm sure I can always just press that if I want to be live life dangerously. But uh, the default is safe, so that's good.